Hello and welcome to my mod order for the Xbox SE, Skyrim SE, lots of SEs going on, special editions. So right here is, we're looking at um, a bunch of things that have to do with improving the graphics and stability and they're right at the top of my load order. We also see some frame per second improvements and some dynamic camera. Um, here we're looking at an entire slew having to do with the map and with uh, surreal lighting and with the sky and also some really good signs improvements for all the signs. Um, here we have um, a bunch of spell and perk improvements. So it gives us uh, cheat chests with lots of spells and powers and things. And this is um, kind of some uh, improvements on those spells. So this makes it so that I don't have any magical drain as I use them. And over here we have a bunch of armor and uh, some unique weapons, um, some smithing improvements, so I've got a cool forge, and uh, also some artifacts to find. So all the weapons are improved. And these are all of my archery tweaks and uh, some cool staffs. Um, also amazing follower tweaks, which allows me to have multiple followers and for them to uh, do specialized things and hang out with me more. Um, this is, uh, my home is your home. It allows uh, you to have your family with you and um, over here we've got a lot of uh, different cheats that just kind of um, allow you to have uh, build your hearth fire home easier, all your building materials are lower weight. Over here are more cheats. This allows the loot to be uh, changed up so there's more variance, uh, kind of you find a lot more interesting variant stuff. Um, so here we have better bows, um, better helmets so you can see people's eyes, uh, a lot of wardrobe so uh, everyone's dressed better. Uh, we have the ability to make cool capes which we can later enchant. Uh, this allows us to give cool gifts to our kids so we can pretty much give them almost anything out of our inventory. Um, the lavender necklace um, over here we have uh, dressed dolls for the characters because all the little children's dolls don't have clothes. Um, and we have a mystic condenser so we can make our potions more powerful. There's a lot going on there. Um, and here this allows us to become a Thane really quickly and get an invitation to do that. Uh, there's multiple adoptions so you can adopt up to six children. Uh, there's a Khajiit child I've, I want to adopt so she's on there uh, and you have to find her. Um, there's also uh, a Khajiit child at the orphanage. This is convenient horses so it, it makes it possible to do more with horseback riding in the game. Um, all of these are the storm cloaks get less racist. Uh, there's a lot of improvements with different um, uh, quests that have morally um, like conundrums. So you know it helps us it helps us out with our quests. Uh, these are. Uh, ways to make income as well as really cool houses that we're going to be looking at and reviewing in the game. Um, these are all improvements for the uh, existing player homes which you eventually acquire one of each in all of the territories. Uh, there's also an improvement for the underground of Riften so that it, the Thieves Guild is, is kind of better. 
Um, these are more improvements for castles, and uh, I apologize for any blurry images. This is a little better of the last one. Okay, so uh, these improve all of the castles that are kind of run down and uh, also add some castles for us to explore and claim. Um, right here we have uh, a bunch of different um, improvements to various properties, basically. Here we have some more Khajiit children to adopt. We have artifacts to find. Uh, we also have some Khajiit caravan kittens who can sell us merchandise, but they're kids. Uh, these are... Um, there's also Argonian children to purchase items from with their caravan uh, in Winterhold. Here we have um, a bunch more improvements, uh, including some Halloween costumes for the kids and decorations. Project AHO is a massive um, quest line, so we've added that. There's also more tweaks for being a wood elf, or, which is currently our specialty as a mage. The Hermit Stump is a player home. Um, the Skyrim Coffee is kind of a spinoff of a certain popular American brand of coffee. Um, so uh, there's various followers that I've added. Um, who are not very large in size for us to, to meet up with and become our NPCs. Uh, a lot of better loot stuff, and the more consolidated your uh, list is in terms of like objects, the better all of these mods will run together. So I could do with some reordering, but uh, definitely don't want to delete anything or add anything in the middle of a playthrough. That will ruin your game. So, um, there is the Zodiac Overhaul, which I'm currently really enjoying. And uh, it adds just enough uh, wonderful items to find um, near your home that it's an automatic uh, plus. There's also the color patches remover. Uh, it, it really works for other things besides those orange patches, hopefully. Um, and we have uh, some improvements with Serena, the head vampire, just to make her look a little differently. We'll see if it works. So every time you play with mods, it's always a new experience. Some work better in certain places, uh, and you'll you'll just have to do an entire load order. Um, I do like 150, as many as I could squeeze on there, and you've got about five gigabytes to work with if you have an Xbox. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helps, and please subscribe, and you'll get the full series. And uh, please continue to. Uh, watch episode one of our playthrough on Skyrim. Thanks so much for joining us at Mystic Ashram for and joining the Mages Guild here. I appreciate it. Take care.